Welcome back. This video is about standard costing and in particular we're looking at our fixed overheads. We need to bear in mind that there's two ways of treating fixed overheads. We can have a marginal costing approach and with a marginal costing fixed costs, fixed overheads are treated as period costs and charge in full to the profit and loss account in the period in which they occur. For a standard costing system, if we have a marginal costing approach, there's only going to be one variance, and that is the expenditure variance. When we look at an absorption costing approach, we have to take a different line. With absorption costing, Overheads are charged to a unit of production on a reasonable basis, often labour hours or machine hours, and this is referred to as the overhead absorption rate. The overhead absorption rate is reproduced here, and given that there are various um, elements to the overhead absorption rate, we have expenditure, we've got the hours per unit, and we'll also have the units, we have more variances that we can calculate because there's more elements that can be different between what we expect to happen and what actually has, has happened. First thing that we would do after we've worked out the overhead absorption rate is that we'd calculate the total fixed overhead variance and then we'd sub that, subdivide that into an expenditure variance and a volume variance. The volume variance can be further subdivided into an efficiency and a capacity variance. If we look at this example here, we've deliberately um, broken down the tasks into a number of different elements. The first element focuses on the overhead absorption rate and then we move into the variances and if you take a step-by-step -step approach to any question start with the total variance subdivide that into the expenditure and volume variance and then if required not every question will ask you to do this but if required you will then calculate the fixed overhead efficiency variance and the capacity variance so if we start with the overhead absorption rate the overhead absorption rate, we go back to the formula, budgeted fixed overhead expenditure divided by budgeted level of activity. And in this question, our budgeted fixed overhead expenditure was £20,000 and our budgeted level of activity remember we're talking about budget we budgeted to have a thousand um, units and uh, four labour hours per unit and that will give us an overhead absorption rate of £5 per labour hour Now we have the overhead absorption rate, we can look at calculating the other variances. Firstly, I'm going to calculate my total fixed overhead variance. And I'm going to calculate that in a similar way than I have done in the past. Take my total standard cost hundred eleven um, sorry hundred one thousand one hundred units multiplied by four hours at five pounds per labor hour and that gives me a total standard cost of twenty two thousand pounds and my total actual cost is 
is £20,450 and that gives me a total variance £1,550 and that is favourable. You can see it's favourable quite easily. My total standard cost, my expected cost was 22000 and my actual cost, the real money I spent on my fixed overheads was 20450 so I have a favourable variance. I'm now going to split that and the first thing I'll calculate is my total fixed sorry my fixed overhead expenditure variance and my starting point is actually this point here my overhead absorption rate is um, has all the elements that I'm going to be looking at with these um, variances so I start with my budgeted fixed overhead expenditure and my budgeted fixed overhead expenditure was £20,000 and I compare that to my actual fixed overhead expenditure and my actual fixed overhead expenditure 20,450 and that gives me a adverse variance of 450 pounds I can then calculate my fixed overhead volume variance going back to my overhead absorption rate and my starting point is going to be my budgeted level of activity my budgeted level of activity is 4000 hours and I'm going to compare that with my standard level of activity and that is 1100 units at 4 hours per unit and that gives me a variance of 400 hours that's going to be favorable and the reason that's favorable is that I've actually absorbed more hours than I expected to we can multiply that by our overhead absorption rate of five pounds per labor hour and that comes to two thousand pounds favorable hopefully you'll be able to see using these figures that two thousand pounds favorable plus 450 adverse comes back to my total fixed overhead variance of 1550 favorable now I can analyze in more detail my volume variance that 2000 pounds I can look at the two elements that make up the volume variance my level of activity and that is my hours per unit and the number of units I start by looking at my fixed overhead efficiency variance now I like to think about this in the same way as I would a labor efficiency variance so on this occasion I'm going to do the calculations in exactly the same way. 
to make 1100 units should take 4 hours Now hopefully you can recognise that those words actually represent my standard level of activity. And I want to compare that just as I do with labour efficiency variance. To make 1100 units should take and it did take and in this question the it did take 4300 hours so it took less so we have a favorable variance there because of our efficiency we multiply that by the overhead absorption rate of 5000 pounds per labor hour and that will give us £500 favourable fixed overhead efficiency variance. My final variance is going to be the fixed overhead capacity variance. And the fixed overhead capacity variance, we're looking at what's gone left. What other calculations could we do using my levels of activity? So in my volume variance, I've looked at my budgeted compared to my standard. In my efficiency variance, I've compared my standard to my actual. The only thing I've got left is I can compare my actual level of activity. and compare that to my budgeted level of activity and my budgeted level of activity was 4000 hours so I've got a variance there of 300 that's going to be favourable because I was able to work more hours than I expected. My overheads could cope with a capacity better than we budgeted for. So that's going to be favourable. Again at £5 per labour hour and that will be £1,500 favourable. Again, exactly the same as we had before, my two variances 500 pounds favorable and 1500 pounds favorable come back and equate to my volume variance there you've got it all on one sheet I know that my calculations are correct at this level you're not going to be asked questions to explain your fixed overhead efficiency or fixed overhead capacity variances. Thank you.